In this video, I will be sharing with you some tips on how you can enhance your photos with color gradient in Capture One. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kosal Angudinjo. I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. So today I want to share with you some of my tips for color grading with Capture One. I would be doing a simple color grading technique and then I'll go on to giving you some more advanced techniques for color grading. So let's just dive into it. I will start with the basic one. So with the basic, the general rule here for me is that I want to lift the image, make it brighter. So it's more like me processing the image, but at the same time paying attention, close attention to the colors in the image. So I would lift my exposure. And push in some contrast. Just a little bit, but I, I like to, for contrast, I like to work with the level slider. And so I like to create contrast with levels rather than just pull the contrast up. So not too dark. I want an airy feel for this image. I pull the contrast. I push up my off my blacks, lift a little bit of shadows, regain some detail in the highlight, and boost the color. Or not. This is more like color balancing, but I see it as a way of color grading because it creates a look for your image as well. So with the color balance tool, I can warm up the image. and affect the tint. So, I'm done with that one. Before and after. Before and after. For the second technique, it's more of a focus adjustment settings. For this look, I'll be working with the curve layer and I'll also be pushing colors using the color editor. With this, I will lift the exposure. Just want it to feel airy, bright, also ha to have good dynamic range. So I'm making this airy. Maybe crush a little bit of the blacks just to make it pop. And pull back some highlights just a bit. Lift the shadows. Now we can just start working our color grading. So the color grading tool I'll be using here in Capture One is the color editor. It's a selective hue saturation luminance slider. So I can tell what colors are affecting what areas of my picture when I hit these three dots. So the blues is happening in the shadows and a bit of her outfit. So quickly, I'm going to come to a color that represents the skin, which in this case is orange, or red and orange. Let's see which of it. The red doesn't do much as, as much as the orange does. The orange is not covering the entire skin. So it's not covering the entire skin. But what we have, is this color wheel that we can adjust till we cover the entire range of skin. Now we have more cover. The yellow is what I would like to pop here. Let me boost the saturation of the yellow. The sky, I would also pop the colors. I'll increase the saturation for the sky and then push the colors to give that summer feel. If I go too drastic, it's going to be a different color. But it's not doing too badly. 
if this is the color you would like, stay with it. But I just want it to look a little off, but not unnatural. We can desaturate the skin a bit. I would just like to increase it, brighten. Okay, I'll leave it a little darkened or as normal. The purple, we can just switch it up and down to see what works. So this is our before and this is our after. So to further enhance this image, we will go into the curves layer, add some more blue into the shadows. We want to get that pastel look and we're done with this look. So now we'll be creating the look from scratch with the unedited version. The outfit is a little blown out in the highlights, so I would recover back some highlights. Go to the white balance and cool it down a bit. The skin is quite red, so I would get the color editor, select the skin. Push the hue up, add a little more cyan to the image. We'll create a new layer for the next set of our adjustments so we can always dial back the effect if it's too strong. I'll be showing you the tools I use. Feel free to experiment with them to get your desired results. So I'll go ahead and desaturate the image and come to curves and put a bit of red in the shadow area. Take it out of the highlight. Come to the blue, warm the image up by taking out the blue from, taking the blue out of the shadow. Maybe add some more blue back into the highlights. But first, I'll recover some highlights in the image and open up the blacks just to flatten the image more. The image is a little greenish, but I want to make it more brown. Let's take, let's take a little green from the shadows. Add back a little into the highlights. The blue, the blue looks good. I'll add a little more red into the highlights as well. Maybe take it down a bit from the shadow. we have like a brownish feel. I want to add colors to the different range in the image, the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. I'll start with the shadow. Create a new field layer, call it shadow. Go to Luma range and shift everything to the shadow. We'll extend our softness. And that's for the shadows. Let's create another field layer. I'll call this midtone. Go to the marange. Shift this to the middle and feather the effect. And finally, create a new field layer for the highlights. Then we would. Go to Luma range and cover everything in the highlights. And feather it as well. The range might blend into each other, but that's fine because we are going to be using complementary colors here, so they would blend in smoothly into each other without any problems. So in the shadow area, we'll come to our we'll come to our color balance section and pull back contrast, add some contrast into the shadows. Let's see, just play around to see what colors look good for this.
right there. I like what it looks like right there. to the highlights now come to color balance and let's warm it up a bit because I added blues to the shadows I'm now warming up the highlights just very subtle adjustment I want the highlights to cover more areas, so I'll go back to the Luma range. And I'll also bring down the levels of the highlights. At this point, I could be done with the color grading and take this as a look, but I would like to do a little more. So I want to add more saturation to this image and boost contrast a little more and also change the greens, just change the look of the surrounding colors. I'll create a new field layer, come to the curves layer, the RGB curves and lift the image a bit, darken the blacks just to give it a nice contrast and darken the shadows as well, just a bit. At this point, this is our before and here's our after before and after I'll create a new layer first let's let, let me name this layer contrast so I'll create a new layer to work on the colors in the image what I intend to do with the selective color grading is to pop some certain colors in the outfit and also in the bushes right here and just skew the colors a little bit just to make it really nice I'll be selecting the red the blues and the greens and popping them slightly but not making them subdue the image I'll start with red so now I'll be using the editor tab advanced section of the color editor I'll select on red let me zoom in for a more precise selection boost saturation shift the hue and reduce lightness although this is affecting the skin and other areas my goal is to be able to paint out the effects and leave it only in areas where I want it to be and in this case it's the outfit let's go and clear mask hit B on my keyboard and start to paint in the effect before and after The image looks a little red, so I would come back to this adjustment and take out the red from the mid-tone using the curves. Create a new global adjustment and see if boosting the colors will help. And this is our final look before and after so i'd like to know your thoughts on these techniques used here so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about them i'll be happy to respond to them also give a thumbs up to this video to show support to this channel and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you in another video bye